Hello, my friends. How you doing today? I am doing well, and I, I want you to wait, stop, stop for one second. Just do do me a favor. If if you are watching this for the first time, if you have not hit that subscribe button, please stop for a second. D down here, d down here somewhere, down here or, or up here in the corner. I I, I I don't know where it is, but hit the subscribe button because because my my algorithm things telling me that I I got like less than what I was supposed to have as far as subscriber accounts for the for my quota or whatever it is. I, I was doing really good, but then all of a sudden things just started started. The, 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 the little the, the, the graph be going downhill so um so so if you could if you could please please take a moment and hit the subscribe button i would appreciate it very much only, only good things can happen from you only good things listen I, I send in good vibes your way i send in good things your way good things are gonna happen to you if you if you hit the button now um with that said i got up early this morning i had to get up early this morning because i, I was due for my my fingerprinting okay okay because as, as you know if you watch this channel uh, i i'm a preschool teacher yet which is very odd very odd for for a male a male to be a preschool teacher but that's what i do that's my job uh that, that's what i enjoy doing okay and being that i'm i started at uh, starting at a new school okay and, I, and I, i'm starting fresh okay I, ha I had to go get the fingerprints done again to prove that uh i i am able to to handle your children okay which I, i'm perfectly fine with okay i guess i have my fid card my, my license to carry concealed carry license everything like that i got no problem with the police i've never been arrested in my life and i've never seen the back of a police car except for when we've had like a little um the police visit the preschool and you get to show the kids the police car. It's the only time I've ever seen the back of a police car. So, so I, I'm good. I know I'm good. I'm good. Um, but, uh, I had to go this morning. I had to get my fingerprints done. So I had to get up early in the morning. And, and then when I came back, I, I had a package. Okay. So I had a package and, um, unfortunately, and, 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 I'm, and I, I hate to do this to the guy, I hate to do this to the guy, but as he was delivering my package, okay, which, which I knew was going to have to be signed for, uh, I, knew, I knew that somebody's gonna listen i have a doorbell but for some reason people like to ring the doorbell and i guess they, they think that i guess the doorbell don't work they try they try knocking at the door and then things have to be signed for whatever so so the doorbell rang and i, I quickly i quickly respond by looking at the security cameras because that's what i do because i don't trust nobody so i look at the security cameras see who it is outside okay and then i i, I go outside i greet greet a uh, uh, ups guy a uh, ups guy and he in you know, sign when I need to sign or whatever, but he, but he knocking at the door too. I don't, I don't understand, but, but listen, I got to tell you right now, I've been having th this battle between UPS and U USPS and, 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 uh, uh, DHL or whatever. My, my, my mail service be, be a little messed up. So some, some mail, ma I, I'll tell you, nice guys, nice. I got I got to throw out this. Some, some of my mailmen are real, real nice guys. Some don't deserve the things that happen, but I got to tell you, I have a mailman fall down my stairs at least once a month, at least once a month, and I have them all on video because what I do is as soon as, as soon as I the security, I watch my security cameras all day long, especially around mail time. I know when mail is gonna be dropped off, so at mail time I watch the mailman deliver the mail because I want to make sure that I'm home to go get my mail to go pick up my mail. I take my lunch at a certain time just so I can go uh, get my mail, and and I watch the security camera. So if you fall down my stairs, uh, there's almost a hundred percent chance I'm gonna get you on video, and at least once a month, one of my mailman a UPS or a DHL or, or whoever, okay, fall down my stairs, okay? Now, listen, it's not because it's, there's something wrong with the stairs. There's something wrong with you. Now, in this occasion, the guy, I guess, was, uh, he dropped off the package, and it was a big package, okay, which I'm going to show you the package in a few minutes. I'm going to show you, this, we're going to unbox, we're going to unbox it together. Um, it was a big package, and I've been waiting for it, and um, he told me, because because what happened was, as after he fell down the stairs, I was like, are you okay? And he's like, um... Uh, yeah, he goes, uh, I, I was, I was looking at my, uh, I guess it was the next drop off or whatever, you know, that little kiosk thing that he has where his next drop off was, he was looking at it and then he was like, uh, I was just looking for the next, next drop off day or whatever day goes and I, I kind of missed a step. Wow! <laughs> I said, are you okay? He's like, well, I think I hurt my funny bone. And I, and I told him, I said, well, that wasn't that funny. But it kind of was. It was, it was. it was funny for me to watch, but but I'm, I'm I'm glad the guy is okay. But dang, dang, did that guy take a spill? And and that's not the first one I've seen within the last couple months. So let let me let me let me show you what I what I've been into lately. Okay. Um, 
first of all, let me put, put a little picture up here. Okay, I know, I know, I, I'm gonna have to dig for it because, because I took it when I first put the the, the figures in in the, the detoffs. Okay, and if you don't know what a detoff is, it's a cabinet. It's a big cab glass cabinet, and I and I put all lighting in the cabinet, or whatever of of the whole family, uh, the whole Chucky family. Okay, a uh, child's play, uh, Chucky, Tiffany, uh, Glenn slash Glinda, and um, a good guy doll. So that's. This this is this is when you when you sitting on my couch watching my TV. Okay, this 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 is a TV that I don't really watch. This is a TV that's in the living room. This is the, this, this is the 4K TV with the 4K player that the family's always watching. But this this is this is the view. Okay, so this this thing over here that I, I hopefully I found and put over here that's the view. Okay, so I already have a Chucky and I have a a. Uh, I'm gonna see if I, I'm, try, I'm, I'm like a new, news uh, what it was a wet weatherman right now. I'm like a weatherman. I'm trying to point out things that visually are not here until I edit and put them in there. Okay, so visually in my head, I'm showing you a picture of something that that's here that's not really here. So over here, <laughs> I got I got um uh, the regular Chucky from Child's Play. I believe it's Child's Play two. Underneath is a uh, 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 good guy doll, and on uh, this side over here we have a uh, glit uh, um. Uh, 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 you got Tiffany up top, Tiffany, Tiffany up top, and Glenn slash Glinda in the bottom, and he is holding the uh the amulet, the 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 Dewey Dembala. He's holding the amulet there because I thought that that's who should be holding the amulet. Uh, the, the amulet should, should be should be uh Glenn slash Glinda because he's the one that brought them back to life in in Seed of Chucky. So I just thought that would be cool. Yes, sold separately. I bought that separately. Okay, case. So yeah, I, I paid an extra like thirty bucks for a piece of metal trinket to, to, to display but beautiful isn't, isn't that beautiful isn't that isn't that isn't that beautiful but that also started leading on to other things okay so then i went on to the one six scale figures and i went on to all these other different things but recently um i i, I began into this stuff okay i'll check this out this is a trick-or-treat studio um gizmo replica okay uh which i think was kind of cool i i am uh i am not a super um gremlins fan but uh my granddaughter we were at uh a target and they had a singing one of these okay which was made by NECA and uh a lot of people don't have a hard time saying that NECA they uh, NECA I believe is the correct correct way to say it people say NECA uh, uh NECA or whatever NECA I'm pretty sure any NEKA is is a proper proper way to say NECA um but this one's made by Trick or Treat Studios and supposedly this is supposed to be a uh a complete replica of the Mogwai of of uh, Gizmo, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm gonna buy that, okay. But th this this little thing right now, this right here is a like eighty dollar purchase. Okay, so we're talking eighty bucks right here for this little guy, and I don't plan on taking him out of his container here because it has like the little keep dry, and on the side we got not for sale, and then we have uh, uh, no bright lights, don't get wet, and never feed after midnight. The rules on the other side, and and yeah, if you look at look inside, you get the feet, and you get the whole. The whole little little gremlin setup there and i was like yeah okay I'm, I'm i'm down with that but but how can we have a gizmo if we do not have a a gremlin like an official gremlin i like i need and 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 if you are a a gremlin fan now now you hang on because I, I know what you're saying i know you say I, I know what you bought i know i know what you got i know what you bought you got yourself a stripe. You got yourself a stripe gremlin because that's the main bad guy from Gremlins, right? That's the main guy, right? He's the, he's the one that everybody afraid of. Now, when this guy came in the box, well, came in came in the bag or whatever, his hair was not uh, up to par. Let's just say his hair was a little messed up. And I'm and I'm I'm gonna bring him on screen. Yeah, I had to pick up one of these bad boys. Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the hair the hair. I, I put a little I put a little gel in it, a little hairspray, okay, and I I turned it into the stripe that we. Uh, but look at this thing. Look at that. now this right here. I uh I I left the tag on it. Tag's still here. Trick or Treat Studios Gremlins. I just tuck it over here behind his ear over here for display purposes because I don't plan on never taking the tag off only because uh he's just too dang cool and and I always think that when you take tags off of things and everything it just depreciates the value. The ears are um uh you can like move them around like they got like a, a metal in them so if I wanted to like bring them down bring them up or whatever um so yeah I I went with the straight on the eye just looking at it and this is actually a puppet believe it or not uh not a very good puppet because my my uh my fat hand don't fit up in his back and it's there's so much foam inside that it's really it really makes no sense for it to even be a puppet i don't know why uh trick-or-treat students decide to say, to say hey i'm gonna make a puppet out of you um when you can't really even fit your hand inside and this is very very um like hard 
plastic, not plastic, like a rubber, like a hard rubber. So really, you can't really do much with it, but um, uh, but display it. And, and dang, okay, isn't that cool? So if you're a Gremlin fan, okay, these things are out there. Now, this bad boy right here cost me, uh, now that one over there was like 80 bucks. Um, I ended up getting this one for a real good deal because the guy was asking like 100 bucks for it. He sold it for me for 90 bucks, but they are going right now on eBay for like close to 200 okay? Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I have, I have not decided. I and mean, they're not going to go in a, in a cabinet like Chucky or Tiffany or, or Glenn because they're, I'm not that big of a fan. But I felt like I needed, I needed, I needed a, 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 a Mogwai, a, a Gizmo and a, 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 um, a Gremlin so, so, so they can go at it. Yeah. Why, why not? I mean, why, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I do that? Why, why, why wouldn't I? Um, so. Uh, with that said, okay, uh, I, I I am looking for and and some some of you you newbies or people that are not big horror fans, I think my next purchase is gonna be a critter. I I, I need I feel like I need I got a gizmo and and I got a uh, I got a stripe slash gremlin. I'm gonna need to buy a critter from the, from the from the movie Critters. Unfortunately, they have not been released by like any like real people like like. I can get them on like an Etsy, like some people are making these things. And there, there are some pretty nice ones there. I'm not really big on buying things that are not, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they're not made by a studio. Let's say they're not official. If they're not, I, I like official releases. Now listen, I, no offense to these these artists, okay? These these are straight up artists that are, that are making these things. And, and pro most of the people from Trick or Treat Studios were probably people selling things on Etsy before they get the job working at Trick or Treat Studios. So uh, nothing against that, but um, I prefer my stuff to have a tag or some kind of... Because I, I don't know if they're going to appreciate value or depreciate value. So, so my theory on this is, let's say I go buy myself a Critter on Etsy. And then three months later, Trick or Treat Studios releases, releases their own Critter. And it's like 10 times better than the critter that I just bought on Etsy. Now, if you go on Etsy, uh, you might be able to find these things, but they're going to be expensive. These people put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and, and believe me, the, the, what they're charging for them is reasonable. But, but if Trick or Treat Studios is going to mass produce them, like, like most of these things are like uh, of 5,000 or whatever it is. If they're going to, if they're going to do like a mass produce, producing type thing, and they're going to be able to push out that kind of quality, I would prefer to get something from a company that kind of backs it up and so uh, to me i just think that, that the value of it is, is just going to increase as opposed to something that was made by hand that doesn't really have any name behind it but then again it could, it could. That, that's another thing that's 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 the, tu that's the tough part is because if one of these artists become huge then i have one of their first pieces of art you know what i mean so it's it's a it's a hit or miss so anyway so here, here's the package that uh my mailman uh fell down the stairs with um Oh, UP, UPS guy fell on the stairs with. And uh, yeah, this is a, um, this I have been waiting for for about a year. I pre-ordered this thing about a year ago. I'm still waiting for the, these su supposed of, um, different heads that you can buy for this thing. But this is the ultimate Chucky. Okay, that's, that's what they call it, the ultimate Chucky. Okay, now I got regular Chucky and that was, I guess, deluxe Chucky or whatever. And then I got the uh, deluxe good guy and then I got the deluxe Tiffany and the deluxe Glenn. And then these, this one is the ultimate. He's the ultimate. Can't, 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 I, don't, I don't think it's a word bigger than ultimate. This is the ultimate one. But uh, they're supposed to be selling the pizza face head, which is the head where in part three where the, um, part, yeah, part three where the, uh, the sickle comes down and chops off half of his face. He's got like all the, you see like a, the blood and everything in the, inside his face. And it's also supposed to have a regular, just good guy head um, sold separately. But I have yet to see those yet. I have yet to see those heads being sold. There was a knife because what's cool about this Ultimate Chucky is his hands come off. His head comes off. The back of his head comes off. You can move his eyes. And uh, so you should be able to swap out heads, swap out hands. So I'm assuming that there's going to be eventually... The, the the hand with the the knife that comes out and there's probably going to be another some more accessories i'm assuming there's going to be the ruler there's going to be the, the ruler from part two um i have the the knife the uh the voodoo knife or whatever i already have that one which is magnetic it sticks to this chucky's hand um but let, let's I'm, I'm i'm about to open this up and see what kind of shape this chucky's in now for, for us to start this off I, I need a i need to open this up with a uh, a knife of some sorts here um, and I don't want to cut through the box because the plan on this one, this, this is, this is kind of, you're going to think this is kind of weird. I don't plan on taking this 
figure out of the box. Now, why, you ask? Why, why wouldn't you take this one out of the box, take the other Chucky that you, you, you have in your case, and put that one back in the box, because you then you could display the ultimate Chucky, and you could keep changing its heads, and you could keep doing that, that kind of stuff with it, whatever. Um, I'm going to tell you why, once I get this box open. Um, uh, I like the box. I like I like this, the box that this thing comes in. I'm also I, I will buy the heads. I'm gonna buy every head that they release. Okay, I, I will buy every head that they release because I'm that much of a fan. Um, I will buy every accessory that they come out with because that's just me. Um, but I don't want to take it out of the box because it's the box itself is pretty cool. So th this is an unboxing of sorts. If I can if I can just cut through this this real hefty tape that they put over here on this side over here. Wait a minute. Yeah. And uh, also, I apologize about the camera because um, this is a very small area. And I'm trying to get... All right, so we have... Let me get the knife out of the way before I cut my finger off here. Um, let me see right here. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? What's the, what's the best way of doing this? Uh, so we open up this and this. And then we get this. All right, what's what's the best way? What's the best way? Let's let's flip this this way, this way. And I'm gonna see if I can just drop it out on my lap. All right. So this is uh, number four fifty three out of four thousand. Oh, so there was only four thousand of these things made, and this is number four fifty three. And Look at this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Cardboard, cardboard. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to... Let me get this. See? Ah. All right. Am I going to have to back up a little bit? I don't know. The camera's going to get this. I think, I think it is. I think it is. A little, a little bit of uh, help with a little... A little editing, we should be able to get this. There we go. Now you're seeing it before I am, the face of it anyway. I haven't seen, I didn't, I've seen unboxings of this thing, but yeah, I have not really took a chance to, to look at it. So on the side of the box, this is why I don't want to take it out of the box. Because number one, the box is killer. Look at this thing. Look, look at the box. It's got, it's got, it's got the Chucky on the back there. We got the... He wants you to be, he wants you for a best friend. Let him share your secrets. Hi, I'm a good guy. Let's play. Here we get, so we get the cool replica of the box. But, but the coolest thing about this box is it doesn't, it's not the same thing as the good guy box. This is a total different box because it has blood, blood splatter on it over here. And, uh, it's got, over on the side, it looks it looks like the, the box is torn, like where there was like the, so so it's a, it's a totally different box. Now, I'm thinking maybe I put this in a, another detour uh, to protect it to keep it safe, but yeah, I don't I don't want to take it out of the box. I don't feel the need to take it out. Of, I guess I, I guess once again, I think it would be cool to display it with all of the little bells and whistles and things. I'm gonna try to lean it down as so you can see a little bit better there. What what's going on there? With Chucky's face. What's cool about this is you could take the back of his head off and you could actually move his eyes around. So I want him looking up, looking down, looking sideways, whatever. Give me a little little stink eye there. Uh, yeah. And um, I, I don't... I I just think it'll, it'll look better in the box. I gotta tell you right now, this is... Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty dang cool. Pretty cool. I pre-ordered this thing about a year ago, I have to say. Um... Also, like this thing over here, up, up on the top here, it says Playland Toys. Uh, what's that say there? Ninety nine $99.99. Like, it's like a fake sticker, like if it, if it went on sale, like they're gonna, gonna put the thing on sale. Um, yeah, I would, I pre ordered this thing, I say about a year ago. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. There is, uh, NECA is also releasing the life size ones, but who knows when, when those are ever gonna come out. And I'm not really that interested. I might be interested in the Tiffany only because I only have one Tiffany, uh, but I'm thinking I'm gonna buy. Maybe the Tiffany, okay? But you know, knowing me, I'm probably gonna buy a Chucky too. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna buy them both when I actually see them produce them, okay? Uh, I trust Trick or Treat Studios. I knew Trick or Treat Studios was gonna give me what I paid for. I knew I was gonna get this. 
eventually. Um, so yeah, I was ready to pay up front. So that's what I did. F 500 bucks. I paid $500 for this thing. Uh, but I paid in, in, uh, over time. Okay. I mean, I made payment arrangements. Okay. And I paid over time and within a year it was, it was paid off pretty quick. Uh, and I am very pleased with the outcome. I like I like the fact that Chucky's eyes are more of like a bluish. Okay. The other Chucky that I have out there, um, I think they're more like a brownish color. Uh, this one, I would have to say, I mean, any way you look at it, it's Chucky. You know, yeah, I, no, nobody's going to look at this thing and go, who's that? Well, what's that? What's that? You know, no, no. They're going to say, it, that's a that's a good guy though. And um, the only cool thing about this is this is the ultimate one. So yes, the head actually comes off. Um, and you can swap it out for different accessories. I can't, I can't even, I don't even think I, I can show you pictures of the accessories or the heads because when I went on Trick or Treat Studios website, they no longer have the pictures of the heads. So are they going to make the other heads? And the other question is, which would have been a kind of a good idea, I think. I don't know. It's just, just throwing it out there. Um, it probably should have came in a bundle. You know what I mean? Like, like if I buy a one six scale figure, if I buy a, a, a expensive figure, like a $500, $600 figure, they probably should have gave me the other heads. You know, like I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking why, why, if you can sell something for like 800 bucks or whatever, 700 bucks, or whatever, why not? They should have gave me the option. Okay. Five, you, you want to spend 500 bucks for this? That's fine. You want to spend 700, we'll give you the additional heads and we'll give you a couple of hands. You know, kind of like if I was buying a, a one six scale figure. Um, but no, nah, they didn't give me that. They, they gave me, gave me the, okay, you're going to get this and then down the line. And it's supposedly, uh, this is what I heard. I mean, this is, this is a hearsay thing, but the heads are going to be like $250 a piece. So later on down the road, I'm going to have to spend another 500 bucks to, to, to replace the good guy head. Or uh, I think it's Tommy head. I think that's what they're calling it. Cause remember when, when, when originally when you open up the box, he goes, hi, I'm Tommy. And it wasn't, it wasn't Chucky. It was Tommy. Um, so I think it's the Tommy head and what they're calling the pizza face head or, or whatever, the cut, the cut face head from part three. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to shoot another two, another $300 on two additional heads. And they're probably never going to see the, 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 the body. Like I'm never probably going to put the heads on the body. I'll probably just display this thing somewhere and then I'll display the heads near it. So you can see that there are additional heads. What, what a mess. What a mess! I mean, very well boxed. Though, I'll tell you that right now. I, I hope I hope you were able to see that. I'm not, I'm sure I put. I'm gonna put plenty of pictures up there just just in case you did not get to see what was what was going on with this thing. But I'll tell you, um, I just feel like I need to display it in the box. This 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 is a, this is a not coming out of the box one. Okay, these other ones, and and I'm gonna tell you another thing. This this is the sentimental version of me. Um, I I own many Chuckies. Okay, now that. That Chucky in the, the the little that little Chucky setup I got there, the first Chucky I ever bought was from uh, Spencer Gifts. I have uh, three of those in in my uh, toy room. Um, then I ended up buying uh, two or three. So so I bought three of those <laughs> three of those Chucky's from Spencer Gifts, and I bought one additional Chucky from Spencer Gifts that came in a big box uh, because that one talked, but it was was wasn't a like a. A cool talking one it was like you press the base and and it said like a few phrases and then they released a tiffany like that so i bought a tiffany out of the box and then i bought another tiffany out of the box and then i bought a tiffany in the box that also said another three more phrases and then they, they released this supposedly ultimate chucky um that mouth moves and his eyes move and he says multiple phrases and um that one was kind of ridiculous because it has it's almost puppet style has the if I, if, I, if I can find a picture I'll put it over here but it has like the the line so when it talks you can see the mouth is not is not connected where Chucky's mouth there's no there's no uh lines there's no uh seams or anything you Chuck Chucky talks like like a regular, regular person's mouth mouth moves like everybody else so but that was cool at the time okay but then then Trick or Treat Tr Tr Studios started releasing these things and I was like yeah the, those other ones are like obsolete and a matter of fact i had some smaller ones that i ended up selling which i'm regretting a little bit because they are going for quite a bit of money because they're like the first ones that were ever released and um but but they were they were about this big and and they were calling those life-size replicas now obviously you can tell a, a life-size replica is, is one of these things not 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 something this big but um yeah i wanted to unbox that for you i want, I want to let you know what i'm into a little bit you know and there's going to be more toy videos on top of the, the blu-ray videos and and uh because this is this is a, a little bit about uh everything a little bit a little little bit about my um 
my life and uh and what, I, what i'm into at this time and, and and i'm very thankful that i was able to pick one of those things up because if there's only four thousand in existence i need i needed to i needed to pre pre-order that thing now the NECA ones i'm holding off i'm not really too keen on on either, either the way either one of them look i'm not i'm I just, I just wasn't sold you know what i mean i wasn't sold that these looked like authentic chuckies i mean I, I think they did a okay job there are some youtubers that are, are totally obsessed with chucky and they're, they're like well those are beautiful and i can't wait i can't I'm so excited or whatever um but i'm like all right uh i, I think they more, look more cartoonish they don't they don't look more like from, from the movie they look more more comic style you know what i mean so uh, will I end up picking them up when I, th I think once I see a YouTuber actually unbox and physically show me what this thing looks like. I don't want no pictures from, from NECA. No, no, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what we think it's going to look like. When I actually see a human being, uh, a real person unbox one at their house, then I'll probably be like, oh yeah, yeah may may maybe, maybe I'll throw another $500 that way or whatever that way. Or I'll, but usually not, I don't throw them that way. I'll, I'll pay in, pay in uh, installments or whatever. And, and create myself another bill. But I am planning ahead. I will plan ahead of time for that one. Okay, I'll, I'll put, stop putting a little, maybe maybe put, stop putting $20 away every week uh, or something. Or I, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, and with that said, my friend, thank, thank you. Thank you once again for stopping by. Thank you for, for listening to me talk about uh, different things. I, I know, I know no, no movies in this one. No movies. There was no movies to show in this one, but may, there might be in the next one. So please do me a favor. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe. Share. share listen, listen. You selfish people! You se this is all you selfish. You, that that guy, that guy right there, that guy that the guy that's been that sat through the whole dang thing, and, and was like, I I enjoyed this. I enjoyed I enjoyed. It. Wow, well, yeah, you you're gonna show us more stuff like that. Yeah, you you selfish guy. Uh, share 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 on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, uh, I don't know, whatever you guys are sharing things on. Share, share with your friends so that way you can help this channel grow okay i, I don't ask for nothing i'm not i'm not asking for no contributions your, your your contribution to me is for you hitting that subscribe button and and letting this thing grow because uh, i'm told i'm told and i don't know if this is true but if i hit a thousand subscribers then maybe uh youtube will stop paying for some of this crap that i keep buying because uh, i'm getting i'm i'm, I'm kind of getting a little broke here yeah i'm getting a little broke and i can't can't really afford it you know what i mean so so yeah maybe maybe once i hit that thousand we we be that I'm, I'm at an eight eight something. I'm almost at I'm almost at nine. I'm almost at nine. So we're not that far away. We're not that far away. And some of my friends here that have been with me since the beginning, we we in this together. We in this together. You you be cheering me on, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything. Hit the, hit the like button. Hit it hit it because that helps the algorithm thing there. And I will see you later. You should have saved me some. Goodbye. Goodbye.